Hello everyone, Assalamu Alaikum. Welcome back to the channel. Today we do what? We do a, a certain number of examples on the economics of power generation. So what is economics of power generation? So we've seen a basic introductory video, the previous one, the determination of what? The per unit cost of electrical energy. So we will have fixed charge, we will have a variable charge. So in the previous video then I did not tell you this, that the total cost of electrical energy in terms of per unit, uh, per unit would be what? Would be the fixed charges plus the variable charges and divide by the total number of units generated E. Right? Yes. So let's say we do some examples from the book and the first example states what? Example 4.4. A generating station has a maximum demand of 50,000 kilowatts. So example has a maximum demand of what? 50,000 kilowatts right calculate the cost per unit generated from the following data so the capital cost is what it's 95 million capital cost is 95 into 10 to the power 6 rupees the annual load factor is 40 percent annual load factor is 40 percent annual cost of fuel and oil is what fuel and oil has a cost of what 9 million 9 into 10 to the power 6 then you have what taxes wages and salaries taxes wages and salaries they are 7.5 million now what do i have and the next is interest and depreciation of 12 percent interest and depreciation is 12 percent and what is unknown the cost of electrical energy is unknown in terms of per unit now in the previous video i have uh, explained you in the detail what you have to include in the fixed costs what you have to include in the in the variable costs unless they are mentioned you take it by yourself for instance over here they are not mentioned that this fuel is in the fixed cost or in the in the running cost so by the common sense you have to take it so this is this will be definitely included in the running costs, right? Similarly, the taxes, wages, and salaries. So we've taken about the, we've talked about this in the previous video. Over here, while determining, uh, let me tell you this one important point: that while determining the cost of electrical energy per unit, per unit. So you, if you have a mistake in this, so that does not have a significant effect, or I would say no effect on the on the overall cost the overall answer the mathematical calculation is still valid it is still right you get the proper cost the final answer is right it's correct for instance for instance the the fuel and oil cost would be has to be included in the running cost but if you include it in the fixed cost also still your final answer the cost per unit would be the same it would be correct it would be fine but it is not the case when we are determining the two part tariff or the three part tariff or tariff if we are determining the tariff so over there you have to take special uh, uh, look at what you have to take as the fixed cost and what you have to take in the variable cost over there if you make a mistake the overall calculation gets wrong and the final answer of the tariff gets wrong and 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 that's a mistake so over here i will go with the book so now what you have is uh, we need to find first of all first of all find the energy units and energy units we find from the, the definition of the load factor so that would be the load factor into maximum demand into time so here the load factor uh, it is given with this that this is the annual load factor so we are dealing with the calculations annually right so uh, i will put the values this would be 0.4 multiplied by the maximum demand is 50000 kilowatt and the time in hours would be 8760 so the energy units comes out to be how much the energy units come out to be 17.52 into 10 to the power 7 17.52 into 10 to the power 7 kilowatt hours so these are the energy units now the fixed charges or the fixed cost is what so that includes the the interest and depreciation only over here 
The taxes, wages, they are included and salaries are included in the running cost. Similarly, fuel and oil will be included in the running cost. So you have 12 percent. So I would write a 0 0.12 multiplied by what multiplied by the capital cost that is what 95 into 10 to the power 6 so this comes out to be what this comes out to be 11.4 into 10 to the power 6 11.4 into 10 to the power 6 now you, you may have a question why have I not taken the full the complete capital cost so the answer is that this we are dealing with the annual calculations only so annual calculations mean what that we are dealing with one year calculations and the the capital cost this is not the cost for one year this is the cost that is spread over the entire lifespan of the equipment 40 to 50 to 70 years right so that is why we are taking this annually the next would be the variable cost or the running cost so that is what you've got uh, a 9 million of this so 9 and then you've got uh, 7.5 million of that so 9 plus 7.5 into 10 to the power 6 this is my variable cost and what does this come out to be it's 16.5 into 10 to the power 6 now what do you have is so you've got your fixed cost you've got your variable cost so which means the total cost would be what the fixed charges plus the variable or the running charges 11.4 plus 16.5 comes out to be 27.9 27.9 into 10 to the power 6 this is your total cost of electrical energy that you have produced now per unit cost so the cost of electrical energy coe this would be the per unit so this would be total cost divided by the energy units so 27.9 divided by 17.5 uh, this is 10 to the power 7 this is 10 to the power 6 the cost of electrical energy in terms of per unit comes out to be rupees 0 0.16 0 0.16 wow what a lower value or you could say 16 pesos fine so simpler examples simpler examples very much simple okay the next let's say we have example number 4.5 example number 4.5 of the book states what it states that the generating station has an installed capacity of 50,000 kilowatts. So again, the installed capacity is given this time. PC is 50,000 kilowatts. And delivers 220 into 10 to the power 6 units per annum. So the energy units are given 220 into 10 to the power 6 kilowatt hours. These are given annually. If the annual fixed charges are rupees 160 per kilowatt installed capacity. So the fixed charges are what? Are, are rupees 160 per kilowatt of the installed capacity. Right? And the running charges are 4 pesos per kilowatt hour. So the variable cost is 4 pesos. So I would write 0 0.04 of per kilowatt hour determine the cost per unit generated so the cost per unit is what so now have a look the fixed cost would be what the fixed cost would be per kilowatt hour so have a look installed capacity is given so i would take it equal to the maximum demand similarly if you do not want to take it as the maximum demand you want to uh, include some reserve capacity as well so you have to explicitly mention over here I am doing over here is what that I am taking the installed capacity equal to the maximum demand say that my installed capacity is equal to my maximum demand so I would write over here 160 into 50 into 10 to the power 3 so this comes out to be what uh, 80 into 10 to the power 5 80 into 10 to the power 5 right similarly my variable charges or the running charges would depend on the energy units so 0 0.04 rupees these are all in rupees okay 0 0.04 multiplied by 220 into 10 to the power 6 and this comes out to be what uh, 88 into 10 to the power 5 88 into 10 to the power 5 so which means the total running charges would be what 
the total the total annual charges would be what 80 plus 88 so 168 into 10 to the power 5 which means that the cost of electricity would be what this would be 220 into 10 to the no 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 no, no. the total cost that is 168 into 10 to the power 5 divided by total number of units that is 220 10 to the power 6 what is this this is 0 0.0 0 0.07 rupees rupees 0 0.07 or 7 pesos so this is the cost of production of electrical energy 7 pesos per unit right yes now uh, if you say that my uh, for instance over here i took the installed capacity equal to the maximum demand you do not want to take it this way you don't want to uh, you ha you want to have a reserve capacity as well so over here the installed capacity is given 50000 kilowatts or 50 megawatts so what do you do you have to explicitly mention over here that i am taking the maximum demand to be 40 megawatts and a reserve capacity of 10 megawatts so then do the calculations based on that 40 so over here you would multiply this 160 with that 40 so based on that you will get your cost right yes Next example 4.7. Example 4.7. What does it state? Estimate. So I have skipped one example. I will do that. I will do that when we talk about the load factor. I have already, I have time, maybe told you many times that uh, a high load factor is good, a high diversity factor is good. So we have an example in that. I'll try to make a separate video on that. 4.7 estimate the generating cost per kilowatt hour delivered from a generating station from the following data plant capacity is 50 megawatts plant capacity is 50 megawatts annual load factor is 40 percent annual load factor is 40 percent the capital cost is 1.2 crores annual cost of wages taxation etc is wages taxation etc the cost is 4 lakhs cost of fuel lubrication maintenance fuel lubrication maintenance this would be 1 pesa per kilowatt hour generated or i would say rupees 0.01 per kilowatt hour generated interest is 5% per annum interest is 5% per annum and depreciation is 6% per annum of the initial value so the cost of electrical energy in terms of per unit is unknown so again first i would go for the fixed charges so the fixed charges would be what uh, you can do what you can take out the 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 energy units generated first or you can do what uh, okay energy units and then again you've got the same thing over here the plant capacity and the maximum demand so basically we need the maximum demand so again i would say i would say that my plant capacity is equal to the maximum demand this is what you have to explicitly mention right if you don't mention it the examiner can deduct marks okay so what do you have is the fixed charges so fixed charges uh, are what first uh, you have the interest and depreciation so interest and depreciation would be 5 plus 6 so I will just take it together 5% and 6% this would be what this would be on the capital cost so on 1.2 crore rupees so I could uh, you know write it as 120 into 10 to the power 5 so I would write it as 120 into 10 to the power 5 this is for 1.2 crores so this is on account of interest and depreciation so I get rupees 13.2 into 10 to the power 5 this is on account of interest and depreciation the annual cost then I have what the wages and taxation then I have uh, the wages and taxation would give me what 4 into 10 to the power 5 
right yes so now the total annual fixed charge would be the sum of the two so 13 and 4 is 17 0.2 into 10 to the power 5 this is my annual fixed cost now my annual running cost so that includes what the this one uh, uh, the the fuel lubrication and maintenance but that depends on kilowatt hours so I would need to find the number of electrical energy units first so E is equal to FLD into maximum demand into time so the number of electrical energy units come out to be 1752 into 10 to the power 5 kilowatt hours right yes so now i could have my running charges my running charges would be rupees 0 0.01 multiplied by the energy units which comes out to be rupees 17.52 into 10 to the power 5 17.52 into 10 to the power 5 so i've got my fixed charts i've got my running chart so the total cost would be the fixed cost plus the running charge and this would be equal to 17.52 plus 17.2 and this is 34.72 into 10 to the power 5 so this is my total cost annually on the production of this whole energy units if i want to find out the cost of electrical energy per unit so i would uh, divide this total cost by the number of energy units which are 1752 into 10 to the power 5 and this comes out to be rupees 0 0.02 or which is 2 pesos per unit of electrical energy produced right yes sir one more one more in this video what do you say yes so a generating station has the following data 4.8 installed capacity is 300 megawatts is 300 megawatts i would write it in kilowatts capacity factor is 50 percent fc is 50 percent annual load factor is 60 percent annual cost of fuel oil etc fuel oil etc has the cost 9 into 10 to the power 7 rupees the capital cost is rupees 10 to the power 9 capital cost is rupees 10 to the power 9 annual interest and depreciation is 10 percent interest and depreciation combined is 10 percent calculate the minimum reserve capacity of the station calculate the minimum reserve capacity of the station and the second is the cost per kilowatt hour generated cost per kilowatt hour the same for me so basically uh, what do we have so the installed capacity is given so we need to calculate the maximum demand first because the installed capacity is the maximum demand plus the reserve capacity now the energy units are also unknown so if I want to use this formula FLD into maximum demand into time so I have the load factor but I don't have the energy units and I don't have the maximum demand so I will have to play around I'll have to play around so first let's say if I talk about the capacity factor is given so capacity factor is what it's the average demand over the installed capacity the average load demand P let's say average divided by installed capacity PC right and similarly the load factor is what the load factor fld is the average demand to the maximum demand right yes so again this is the p average to the maximum demand we are given these two values now if i divide fc by fld yes so if i divide fc by fld what would it give me it would give me average average would cancel out the maximum demand over the installed capacity yes yes so this would give me the maximum demand over the installed capacity isn't it like this it is 
so now what happens next what happens next so you can find out the maximum demand from here how can you find out you have the installed capacity you have the capacity factor you have this load factor so you can find the maximum demand from here and that would be what uh, PC PC is what 300 into 10 to the power 3 and this would be divided by FC 0 0.5 divided by FLD 0 0.6 the maximum demand comes out to be what 250 megawatts 250 megawatts you can write this in terms of megawatt the install capacity and this but try for the energy units to be in kilowatt hours okay not in megawatt hours so now the reserve capacity would be what the reserve capacity would be the installed capacity minus the maximum demand so which would be 300 minus 250 this would give you a 50 megawatts of reserve capacity fine yes sir now the cost so the cost for the cost you need to go back to your original procedure so the fixed charges are what the fixed charges would be uh, uh, where is it interest and depreciation would be included in the fixed charges which mean 10 percent so 10 upon 100 of what of the capital cost is 10 to the power 9 so the fixed cost comes out to be 10 to the power 8 of course 10 to the power 8 right yes and then the running cost comes out to be what the running cost would have this uh, 9 into 10 to the power 7. The running cost would be 9 into 10 to the power 7. This is for the fuel and lubrication etc. So which means the total cost, the total cost would be 9 into 10 to the power 7 plus 10 to the power 8. So this would be 19 into 10 to the power 7. Total is 19 into 10 to the power 7. Then you have what the cost of electrical energy per unit would be what 19 into 10 to the power 7 divided by the energy units. And energy units would be calculated from the load factor FLD into maximum demand 250 into time 8760. Let's say X units divided over here or let me write it from the book. 1314 and 10 power 6. This, this would be 1. 3, 1, 4 into 10 to the power 6 units. So I would write over here also. And the cost of electrical energy per unit comes out to be rupees 0 0.14 or this would be 14 pesos. 14 pesos. So I believe this much is enough for this video. I will continue with the examples in the next video. I hope this is clear. The point of the, uh, the installed capacity and the maximum demand is also clear. Is it? Yes. You have any questions? You are most welcome in the comment section. Till the next video, take care of yourselves. Everyone around you do remember me in your prayers. Do subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.